Hello everybody, welcome back. This is my very first build order for the Age of Empires 2 DLC for the Dynasties of India. And this one is actually going to be a Camel Scout Rush at 19 population. So, uh, first thing we do with the first villager is to come out and make a mill. Well, your starting villagers are going to make the houses as usual, but then they're going to go to berries. And then we're going to add another um, two villagers onto berries, and that villager is making the mill is going to go over to those uh, town centre berries as well. So we'll have six on berries. Go around and find your sheep. And uh, as soon as you've got all your sheep, you're going to garrison them in the mill. And uh, when you garrison them in, in the mill, what it's actually going to do is it's going to provide a little bit of a, a trickle of food into your economy. So it kind of makes up the difference from... Uh, the slower gather rate, probably even a bit more, uh, but the slower gather rate from gathering berries. Uh, next three villagers are going to go onto the straggler tree. Obviously, having made that uh, mill, we're uh, a bit short on wood, unfortunately. So, I'm going to go three on the on the wood there on the straggler tree. And when we've got the third one on there, we're going to take one of these existing villagers and, and go and lure the uh, lure the boar. Um, but uh, quite an interesting civilization, the Gujaras. So, um, very strange little opening. Uh, something we're, we're going to get used to. Uh, but I suppose it's you know, similar to how uh, the Chinese have a different start. Um, but once you've got the, the main start bit sorted out, um, you'll probably find the rest of the builds are, are generally quite uh, straightforward. Uh, so, next villager has just gone onto the berries or the boar. Um, berry bush should be finished in a minute and then the next village that's going to come out they're going to make a house and then go over to the uh, main berries and then we'll add another three onto berries so we'll have a uh, four on berries at that point we'll have seven on boar and three on straggler trees and once we've got the 100 wood which we've almost got probably take those and drop the wood off to be fair um, we're going to go and, and make the lumber camp at the wood line so we've got enough wood now we can do that. A little, bit of a, a little bit of an error. I must say, it's not the most uh, smooth that I've played before, but we get a decent, you know, we get a, a good uh, feed lage time. We, we do manage to, I think I only have about two seconds idle time, which is pretty good. So, um, yeah, not, not too bad. Uh, we're then going to um, make sure that we take one of those existing villages from the boar and all the second boar. And now that we're on four, on the berries, we're going to send two over to wood and then two over to gold. And um, that two over to gold is just going to give us the uh, the gold that we need for making the camel scouts because they are very expensive units. So we are going to need that gold. Now, camel scouts are um, really, really good. Uh, certainly, if you're coming up against uh, French or something, they're going to be absolutely dominating uh, the enemy scouts. but Obviously, it's going to be fairly easy to counter as a normal scout rushes with uh, normal spearmen. And uh, obviously, your opponent's going to be expecting this, probably. Um, I certainly would if I was coming up against this. Um, but what you might actually want to do is um, go for a straight scout rush and then add a couple of um, camels in later on. I think if you do that, you can actually do this build at 18 population because uh, we'll just be delaying the gold a little bit. But it's something I need to look at, try and tweak it a little bit. But um, it may even be worth doing that anyway. Just send, you know, send one over to gold for the time being. If you're going to make a couple of scouts to start off with, because I think it's always best to add some scouts in anyway, just because they hit a bit harder. So once we've clicked up, obviously we've researched lane, we've clicked up, uh, we've sent one over to gold. We're sending a couple over to the wood, and we're sending one forward. And you'll see now we've ran out of the boar, so we, we're going to uh, gradually eject all of these sheep. Honestly, once one's uh, been taken up, we're going to um, eject another one. I do actually use all of them, and I think um, because the actual food trickle is so slow, and it's, it's not really that, but that good, but it's good enough for the Dark Age to give you a nice little boost. Um, you're better off, in my opinion, if you're going for a food unit build, uh, ejecting them and collecting them rather than leaving them in there for the whole game because it takes about 25 to 30 minutes to actually reclaim all of the food that you've got stored there. 
so might as well just use it as a little bit of an extra boost for Dark Age Early Feudal. Delay your farms and then uh, collect them. So Feudal is about to come in, we're going to send a villager from the sheep forward to help build the stable, which we're going to get done in a minute. Ideally you want to be researching a uh, double bit axe, slightly, slightly low on food, on wood there, we just need a little bit, there we go, we could research it now but for some reason I haven't, so again a little bit sloppy. Um, the first village is come out, we're going to send two on sheep and then we're going to go three onto wood and then two more on sheep. Uh, so we'll end up with um, six on sheep and then we're going to just make farms pretty much after that. We'll obviously want to research horse column as well. Those two builders, they're just going to go out, get walled up, uh, start getting your base walled up. And as you can see, we've got plenty of camel scouts queued up along the way. You may only need two on the gold. Um, you may only need two on the gold. So you could potentially keep one of those gold villages for your food. As you can see, we're getting the second lumber camp down. It's time to get walled up. And then I'm going to get these camel scouts out. As you can see I've started adding some normal scouts in the queue as well. So uh, you may want to do that, you may not. Um, you may even want to start off with the camel scouts, especially if you're perhaps, see, perhaps going from just one on gold. Uh, do a little bit of a mixture and just make the camel scouts when you've got enough gold. So it's perhaps, uh, you probably, probably have more villages on food then, so you can probably get to the castle age a little bit sooner. Or you may have one on, you know, an extra wall on wood or something. Uh, so you can get walled up a bit quicker, or a bit easier. Entirely up to you. It's it's quite flexible, you can tweak it. Certainly, uh, if you wanted to make sure you can wall up a little bit sooner, you probably want to go for a 20 pot build. But as you can see, we've just made three, and then we're going forward, and then we're adding uh, some normal scouts. We've just got another one coming in now, so we should be able to have quite a decent uh, collection of them together. As I say, I'm going to look and see if we can do an 18 pop scout build, which we can then add scouts into, uh, camel scouts into. We should see these. Uh, See these scouts, these are French scouts as well, so obviously they've got the extra HP and they've just yeah, been demolished by the camel scouts really. Obviously the spearmen there is uh, doing quite a bit of damage. Uh, the one less attack from the camels is uh, a bit of an issue, but they do tank uh, more hits than the normal scout. They actually tank five, which is about the same as the uh, Sicilian scouts. Obviously the Sicilian scouts are still going to be better against them than camel scouts, against the spearmen. But yeah, just give you the opportunity to run away a little bit, but it's definitely worth mixing in some normal scouts just because of the extra attack that they get. But yeah, at that point you just keep on uh, going in raiding, pick some villages where you can, get them walled up, don't ask me what these walls are all about, don't know why I didn't go across there, I don't think I scouted, no, but I don't even know why I didn't think about <laughs> just not going over there, I don't know, weird. Uh, but that is it for this one guys, uh, let me know what you think of this build order. Uh, Gajara is quite an interesting civilization to play, uh, I'm very excited to uh, learn more about them and, and uh, see if we can improve this build order a little bit um, for perhaps uh, scouts and then add some camel scouts. I think we can, I'm pretty sure we can do an 18 pop. Uh, normal scout rush, so do keep your eyes open for that one. I'll, I'll do some build orders for the other six first, and then I'll, I'll look at revisiting uh, this one for an 18 pop normal scout build with a couple of camel scouts added later on. But that's it, guys. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one.